women shouldn't have to use their bodies to be heard. It's like what's in their mind. Like we have brains too, so why can't we use them to do what men can? It's like a shame that women have to kind of put up with this kind of like thing where it's like, oh, you must always like act nice, don't swear. Like there's a lot of pressure in school by other girls and, and by sort of everyone in school really to fit in with everyone, but sometimes you want to be the, that odd girl that enjoys politics or enjoys the bit. Some women just naturally want to be a housewife. Some women naturally want to do things other than like STEM activities or places where it's mainly male dominated. But then um, make sure that those people who do want to do those STEM activities and make a level playing field are um, given the resources enough to make it 50-50. Some girls will not encourage others. Because you get like the popular groups at school yeah. who will only care about their friends and not others. If they're not given these opportunities, then they'll never know about these things and they'll never find, you said earlier, the hidden talent that they may have. I've never felt like I've been told that I can't do something because mm. I'm a girl or I can't do any, something because I'm alternative or weird or anything like never. that. Never. Um, but, no, well, see, not by my mum or my dad, but I feel like um, there has been influences from my sister being, um, as a teenager, my sister was completely different to me. So I think mm. quite often she would be like, you'll grow out of it, you'll grow out of it, mm. which then made me think I would be like her when I'm older and I would be sensible and I would want to have children and I would be, mm. whereas like, and she's really, really successful and I can look up to her now, but as a teenager, it was actually really difficult. I had kids young, I was only 19 when I had my eldest son. And like there was, especially within like some of my family group, but also in a wider social circle, there was this really strong expectation that I should stay at home and look after the kids. And yeah. like, I was made to feel quite guilty by some people, even just about working part time as yeah. like a, in an office. Every girl should have support offered to them, no matter how well they're doing or even how well they're not doing, because everyone in the end should get the same opportunities. Do you need to show girls that there's other girls in that profession? For example, we have people coming in from different engineering companies like Siemens and stuff, yeah. and all the people that come, and even the army, things like that, and all the people that come in are men, Yeah. who are like high level, the men, it's always the men that come in. And it can be men, like there's nothing wrong with men coming in, but it's maybe sometimes it should be a woman, because with all the time the men coming in, it makes the girls think, well, they yeah. want men. Like, do you want us actually? Like, do you want actually women to feel yeah. comfortable to see these jobs, or do you want it so it looks like a statistic? I'm really excited to be 30, 35, 40. Mm, I'm getting but excited, excited myself. But excited for my career, yeah. not, or just my life, yeah. rather than I'm excited to have children, or I'm excited to settle down, or whatever that is. Yeah. I am actually just more excited to see how I I change the world, or how I influence people, or how I can help people, or whatever it is. That's what I'm excited for. People are like, wow, well, I didn't expect that from you, like, because mm. I'm so, supposed to be quiet, and I'm supposed to be, you know, reserved. So you but, have um, that, you have that yeah. feeling that you're supposed to be quiet and reserved, yeah. because you're a woman. Yeah. Mm. I think there's a thing about connecting women mm. that's really powerful as well, and that was one of the reasons that, like, I set up Women of Words yeah. and then formed it as a collective was that I think letting women talk to each other and figure it out for themselves. Our mum was Tret tre as a female, wasn't she? Mm. Um, being brought up in, well, working as a partnership in, in the pub trade, she was the lesser landlady and she didn't have the same rights, she didn't have the same mm. holidays, she didn't have the same pay. No, I don't think I appreciated it at the time mm. at all how much that must help. I'm not sure it's a hurt, really, to be undervalued. Mm. But now I can totally see. Yeah. And we wouldn't stand for that, would we? No. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. These kind of discussions yeah. on a bigger scale yeah. for people would be a massive thing. Mm.